Okay, so this video is one that I wanted to watch about three weeks ago. I was searching online and I couldn't find anything. So I thought I would make the video that I wanted. It's a bit weird because in the box just here, I have live cockroaches. I'm not sure if this is gonna go up on my main channel or if I'm gonna just put it on my vlog channel. I don't really know yet, but it's gonna go somewhere. So if you don't like cockroaches, just click off because there's live cockroaches, they're in there. Um, yeah, so a month ago I ordered some cockroaches online from Buzzard Reptile and I forgot to tick the box that said tubbed. And an, a little box like this came. Just through my post box and I can hear it. If you can hear, let me... I don't know if my camera's gonna be good enough to pick up. But it's scuttering and I was like, because <gasps> I don't like bugs. We've got a bearded dragon, which is why I'm buying cockroaches. Probably should have said that. Um, and I panicked because I was like, I don't want them to die because they're in the box. My other half wasn't going to be back till this evening. Um, so I messaged the guy who sold them to me and he talked me through what to do. And so I thought I would, it was a really helpful thing of him to do. So I thought I would show you guys what I did for anyone else that is scared of cockroaches but has to, I'm not once they're out and they're in their tub, they don't bother me, I can pick them up with tongs and stuff and chuck them to gecko, it doesn't bother me. But the fact that they're in this box just really creeped me out. So I've got all my stuff, I'm just gonna grab my egg boxes and then we are going to get these little buggers in their new house. Uh, yeah, if you like these videos, please give this one a thumbs up. You should definitely subscribe to my channel, whether this is my main one or my vlog one, either or, or both if you're feeling fancy pants, that'd be nice. Um, but yeah. Let's debug the box. I think I've got everything I need. I am, I think I'm gonna lift you up and then tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing. But I'll just show you what I've got to start with. So I've got a big tub that then fits my cockroach house in. This is just a, what are you? Three liter um, little tub. It's got a clip lid and I've made air holes. I've, I know this works because I've got another one already with cockroaches in, in the other room. So I've got this. I've got an egg box. I do need to cut this a bit. I'm going to cut it so it's in half. This is for them to live in because they like to like hide in all the crevices. And you want your cockroaches to be healthy and happy so that they are the best thing that you can feed your reptile. So I've cut it like that. Um, and then I tend to put mine in upside down like that and then they all I won't put it until they're in there but then they all just hide in all these little crevices um and then I've got bug balls these are like hydration balls bug grub this is just like an all-round bug food and then I also give them greens and berries basically whatever i'm feeding gecko like salad wise and greens wise i put some in there as well um and i was just throwing it in but it was just kind of making a mess so i found you get a lid of a milk bottle and i put a tiny bit of blue tack on the bottom stick it into one corner the jar lid of a jar and then i put the bug grub in there and stick them down and then they've got somewhere designated where they can eat so yeah so my box is here and then this is the box they're in. So I can hear them all and he basically said just gently tap the box so they all go down one end. If you're not scared of bugs, obviously you can just chop it open and do what you want. I am scared of bugs. So he just said to slice one end, which I've done. I've got the big pink tub in case my any like fallout. As much as I love gecko, I do not want cockroaches in my kitchen. So and then he kind of just said tip it. And then I get my little tongs if I can. go and then you just
And then I get my torch on my phone so I can look properly in the box and see if there's anybody yet. There's still some left in there. Get out. You see? And they're all alive. That one's on his back. We'll turn him over. Turn over, mate. Come on. Turn over. There you go. But you can see they're all healthy and all happy. But they're looking for somewhere to hide. So this is where I bring my little thing in, like that. And they'll all just start to like go in the crevices. It just it's just where they go to. So that's that. And then we'll get their food ready. Let's just take this box out because it has got my address in it. I'll just like triple check that there's no cockroaches left in there before I put that in my bin. We're all good. Can you see they're climbing on it? They're all quite happy. And then I will get my two little pieces of blue tack. Cockroaches can't fly either, which is what I like about them. And they can't jump at you, which is good. Nobody likes that. So I've got my little thing of water balls. You guys need to just move out of the way a minute. Move, guys. Move move everybody move everybody move and then that just goes there and then i just push it down pick that little ball up nope it's gone so we've got the balls there and then i've got the bug grub Sorry guys, I've just got to move you a minute. Get out of the way, you knobbers. And that goes there. And you can see already they are starting to go in the holes. Like they're all quite happy and they'll go in the little holes. And like there's one in there, and they're all on the water. They're all quite happy. And then I'll just chuck in a little bit of fresh food for them. Like there's some over here, they're having some, they're on the bug grub, and they're happy. Today for ease, I'm just going to chuck in a chunk of cucumber for them um, because I haven't got any salad prepped because geckos already have it already. So we'll just lay that down. Are we smishing anybody? Get out from underneath it. Get out. Right, there we go. See? And then lid goes on and there we have it so yeah that was a month ago i needed that video or three weeks ago i really needed that video but look i now have a little happy house of cockroaches they've got water and they've got food and they are going to be the best things for gecko to eat i keep these on top of gecko's vivarium above his basking bulb so they've got some heat from below um but yeah i hope you liked it i'm sorry it was weird if i have put this on my main channel then i'm, I'm sorry but gecko is part of our lives now and he needs food so he is part of team per and now the cockroaches are part of team per so yeah Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.